I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm the Captain here, and on this recap for the Vanguard livestream on 15 June 2021, we'll be looking at the reveals from the live streams and sharing our collective thoughts on them. When we saw the itinerary for this week's reveal, we were just thinking about how we'll be seeing the key visuals for DBT-03 alongside the heavy news of card reveals for Nirvana and Virina Urger. Yes, apparently the translations for what we have known for months as Virina Elga is going to be Virina Urger, as in Urmager, Virgar, Urbedras. <laughs> Digressing aside, we got a lot more news than we anticipated with the inclusion of new right lines that will be coming in DBT-03. And while 60% of you guys voted on our poll in the community tab saying new right lines in DBT-03, can we get September soon? Well first off, that's not how time travel works. And secondly, it's better to go through the show in order so I can demonstrate to you just how time travel actually works. From the top of the card reveals, we have new promos that we'll be seeing in July for shop tournaments. We got a Cargero and Novo Grappler unit card for the V Premium and Premium formats, whilst we have a Dark States card for Overdress Standard. Cargero players have the Voluntoruba Dragon, which has an auto skill from the soul at the start of your main phase. If your opponent has no rear guards, you may call this unit to a rear guard circle. And on the rear guard circle, by paying counterbalance 1 and retiring this unit, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire all of your opponent's rear guards with the same grade as that unit. The potentiality this card has is actually very strong, albeit slightly unwieldy to use, especially when you have considerably good choices to put in your grade 1 lineup. The auto skill is super negligible, but at least if pulled off and with the right situation, win or lose, you probably can get the play of the game. Up next is Sword Brand Gladiator for Nova Grappler. When this unit's attack hits while on the Vanguard Circle, draw a card. And when this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, if the number of cards in your hand is 3 or less, by paying Soul Blast 1, draw a card. Then if the number of rear you have is 2 or less, draw a card. A draw engine for Nova Grappler is pretty helpful for the clan throughout. I can see myself playing 4 copies of these in my current V Premium and Premium Nova Grappler decks, since hand counts have always been very difficult from my experiences. It may be a good card to bring into the upcoming Ultimate Risers in the V Clan collections in the late September, but we're still waiting on those reveals from that set before we can actually make any good calls. Moving on to the promos for Overdress Standard, we have Judgmental Dragon Vorpal Scythe Dragon for Dark States. Bruce is the coolest ace in the nation, but Overdress has been showing that staff type weapon love with Zorga and Orphis lately. Once per turn on the Rear Guard Circle, by paying Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards and retire it. Then when this unit's attack hits, you may Soul Charge 2. Quite a helpful card that we have here that can actually help Bruce and Barrow Magnus take out something pesky like Sarah Snow's Perio Turquoise to avoid the power loss from freeing cards from prison. And if you do not need the Soul Blast 2, you can take advantage of the on-hit threat to Soul Charge and make the opponent give up something to avoid the bigger threat sooner. Promos out of the way, we got ourselves 3 fresh reveals for Nirvana and the build in DBT-02 really takes a turn on how Nirvana is played. We'll start with Armored Dragon Mount Cannon. Although on the front row rearguard circle, when your grade 0 unit attacks, this unit and that unit attacking gets plus 5k power until the end of the turn. As basic as it looks, this card is telling us one thing. Start sending Trickstar to hit people. Then we got Blazed Fist Monk Damari, who has the auto skill on the Rigard Circle. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, by paying Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's front row Rigard, retire it, and if your Vanguard is Chakrabati Divine Dragon Nirvana, choose up to one Grade 0 card from your drop zone and call it to a Rigard Circle. Even if you lose the Trickstar by it being attacked head on, while we already have Nirvana to help you fetch back Trickstar to the field, you can also use Damari to make the attack phase multi hitting. Damari can help fetch back Trickstar while it attacks, after it attacks rather, and then you attack with Trickstar himself, and then gain the power up from Mount Cannon from there, so they can hit things more easily and you can proceed with your attacks from there. And the next step in the process comes Virina Urger, who has the Overdress ability on top of Trickstar, as well as the Auto skill from Hand. At the end of the battle that your Trickstar attacked a Vanguard, if your Vanguard is Chakrabati Divine Dragon Nirvana, by paying Soul Blast 2, Overdress this card on your Trickstar on Rearguard Circle as Stand and Counter Charge 1. On top of his own continuous skill on the Rearguard Circle and Guardian Circle, when this unit is in Overdress state, this unit gets plus 10k power and plus 10k shield that is also active on your opponent's turn. You not only gain a solid attacker, but a solid defender in the next turn. Chances are a lot of players are actually going to be facing up the original Virina for Virina Urger, and I personally hate to see the original Virina get phased out. 
but the benefits this card has really helps put Nirvana on a better footing come the end of next week. This is a very good card that's comparable to Varina Valiente from the previous booster set. And one thing that we noticed about DBT-02 is that if you are a new player coming into Overdress, you can actually build a very good deck from just the start deck and DBT-02 without having to dip into DBT-01. Don't get me wrong, making an optimal deck will require cards from both booster sets. But for a new player starting off, building a deck off from the start deck with just the boost from DBT-02 will still make you something good to play. This is something that I can applaud as it increases the accessibility for players who aren't investing heavily into tabletop games to make very good decks with new sets. This is a good trend and something I hope to see continue in DBT-03. Speaking of DBT-03 and the key visual we got for that set, we got ourselves a showing of the new version of Virena already and it's called Virena Expecto. The art is very visually appealing and it seems to be a callback to many different designs in other games and media. They also gave a short preview of the skill it can do as they have been doing with the V-Clan collection previews and Virena Expector will use the original dress base to perform strong attacks. This feels like a hint that it can do specific things if a particular unit is one of the original dress cards for Varina Expector. Some says it could be remove an original dress to get a skill or a power but I'm of the thought that it could be something that checks if you have a particular unit in original dress. Then it can do an additional skill. Maybe this could bring back the original Varina back into the deck after DBT-02? But Varina Expector isn't the only new unit that we saw coming in DBT-03. Welcome to the future everybody, this is how time travel works in the real world. You have to wait. Three new right lines are going to be introduced in DBT-03 for Dark States with Demonic Dragon of Greek Greedon, Brand Gate with Grandivia Nelt Ringer and Stoikea with Fleet Dragon Flagberg Dragon. Their playstyle is also previewed in this slide. Greedon looks like an American gangster hawk that plays by consuming allies for great power. This honestly hit at a Tachikaze style of play or more likely a Pale Moon style of play for a Dark States unit. Grandivia Nelt Ringer looks like Genova from Final Fantasy VII that has Sephiroth's ambition to wipe out your opponent's rear guards with the power of Meteor. And Flatberg Dragon, or as players have been calling it the Son of Maelstrom, is bringing back the waves of Arco Force with the playstyle of activating skills based on the number of attacks. All three new right lines definitely play vastly different styles from what we already have with the 12 right lines currently in Overdress, which is alright at this stage of the game. September is going to be a very busy Vanguard month. So what do you guys think? Does beating up your opponent with Trickstar captivates your interest in the Overdress mechanic? Expector and Patronum your wallets for the new right lines in DBT-03? Leave your comments below. And if you want to be part of a live conversation with us on Overdress and Vanguard, we're on Twitch for our Tuesdays live streams and Wednesdays for our discussion streams here on YouTube. So be sure to follow us on Twitch for our gaming live streams, slam that like and subscribe button and ring the ding the bell so you're notified of all of our videos whenever they get released, be it for Vanguard or Battle Spirits. Be sure to follow us on all of our socials, we're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We also have a Discord as well where you can find myself, Dempster and Leon on most nights. If you like what we do here and want to support us directly, you can join our membership where you can be like Wen Hao Law, Daddy Aguieto, Samuel McKay, Cool Kid 9514 and Rin and have access to all of our meet emotes and badges during our premieres and live streams. So with that said, thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!